So Trevor alifanya ukajua rangi yako. Tafadhali rudi kwa, kwa Trevor. We apologize or just make a video. Uonge. Useme Trevor this and that. I forgive you. Jupia tunaona pali ulikuwa napika Trevor na muiko. But hapo pia siyezi sema iti munga hiva likuwa mbaya. Meato michali yangu ni mawai mpika. Jum, machalisa zingine they can really stress you. Machali, men can really surprise you. So I can say kama ulipika Trevor na ulipika Trevor na muiko. Ulikuwa nafata kumuwekele na kisu kidogo kando ya masikio. So I can say. Hmm? Pengine Trevor pia likuwa na lalisha class. Ju Trevor pia inasemekana alikuwa na cheat. What if kama alikuwa na cheat na atoshelezi mwenzake kwa kitanda? What can we say? Atujui. So it's a gold goal. It's a gold goal. Watu wanasema Trevor pia alikuwa na cheat. Wengine pia wanasema Munga Eve lifestyle yake ni kuna somebody. My friend, kama unapigwa na bibi mkono hapa. Hapa chini utampiga. Ile hii kazi ya wanaume utampiga. Kama anakupiga hapa. Hiyo imetuonyesha huyu mwanamke hapo anapata haki yake. Ndio kwa maana ameenda. Mimi kwanza namshukuru na, na sana huyo mwanamke. Aende kabisa. Apatane na mtu kama mimi. Eh, Apa, my friend. Hapa chini. My friend nitagonga hadi sura ikikunje. Naweza gonga ili umejua mzee na mwenye ako na pesa hivi ni mzuri kugonga sana. Ju unagonga ukisikia analia unangoa unamwambia ongeza pesa ama niwachie kazi kwa njia. Haya sasa kama una watch hii and so you subscribe to to the YouTube channel and so you you subscribe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Martin Dean and of course welcome to this episode with me and Madam Petty Mouth KE. This one uh, this one ni amekuwa best yake mgaifu pale nyuma tulikuwa tunampiga na story pale nyuma and it uh, happened that many uh, many many questions were raised and um, I happened to come back ni kasema mpaka nimtafute tupige story pia na ameniambia ako na good news anaidroa nani Madam Petty anaidroa nani the one and only <laughs> Madam Petty Mouth in the house uko mm, aje mami niko poa sana yeah. mm, mashida tu mashida hapa tena. na pale eh, lakini tutatatua tu eh, mashida which mm? Unajua sasa hii kumeanza kuwa na joto mingi Nairobi. Joto wiki. Naona mimi joto mingi. Hao wanaume wanapenda joto. Ah joto mingi hii natural joto ampendangi. Si hapo. Eh ni so leo nimefika tu hapa nijaribu kutumia mungaivu jumbe. Yeah. Watu walikutusi. Watu walisema wewe ni roho mbaya, roho chafu, bad friend. Yes, mimi ni mchawi. Mimi nimezoea watu kusema like niko na roho mbaya, mimi ni mchawi, mimi ni mbaya, mimi ni mjinga, mimi ni sura mbaya. Mimi nimezoea. Mm. So ni nini sijai sikia tangu nizaliwe? Ni okay. nini watu wataniambia? Mm? Hakuna kitu yote sijai sikia. So nimezoea mnaweza endelea tu kuniambia hizo ujinga zenu. Eh. Hebu tuambie uh, since tufanye hiyo interview muliwai ongea mngaivu alikupigia simu mkaongea ama bado ama anyone close to mngaivu alikupigia simu ama Trevor tu mwenyewe oh hmm. uh, ha ni Trevor tu aliwai reach out mngaivu pia alikuja hapo akaniambia hi so atukuongea uh, mingi bado na contemplate kama ni wajibu ama si wajibu hmm. wako tu hapo inbox yangu kwanza bado nafikiria kama issue like time to go not yes i'm okay i've been busy by the way nimekuwa busy sana so kujibu jibu maswali zingine ni ngumu have been busy nikianza cha kuwa busy nitawajibu hala tend to them mm. anyway tell us uh hebu tuambie ulisema uko na ujumbe unataka kupitisha okay some unajua watu uh, between mgaivu na Trevor hakuna mtu amefanya inter- alikuwa anataka kufanya interview mgaivu alifanya tu pale kwa channel yake Trevor akakuja akafanya juzi kwa ni iko nini mm. many questions were raised pale mm. inasemekana kuwa uh, okay sijui kwa uliwatch hiyo interview ya Trevor yes nime watch na nikaona uh, so many people wanajaribu kutetea Trevor which is good mimi vile nilisema mimi siezitetea dem wenzangu cause mimi najua vile si madem who behave kama tumepata pesa the moment kitembe imeto, kinembe imetoka kwa buvumbi tumeenda kwa saba barriers sisi madem huanza ng'a madharau sana so bado naenda kutetea Trevor nikisema hivi Munga Eve alitoka kwa Trevor na madharau mingi sana. Trevor ndiye alitengeneza Munga Eve. Munga Eve akukua anajua ku edit, akujua anything like posting. She didn't know anything. And you people can go back to zile my interviews zenyu walikuwa wanapiga kitamu Munga Eve akisema Trevor is the one who made me. Which is so true. Trevor ali make Munga Eve. And we can also say that Munga Eve vile Trevor alishamtengeneza. Yeye alikuwa anajulikana publicly. But Trevor alikuwa anajulikana being that yeye alikuwa anakuja kwa cameras. But after some time Trevor pia alianza kupiga interview akakuja kajulikana. So I can say that tre- that uh, Mungai Eve 
kama umeachana na Trevor but there is a way unaweza achana na mtu mwenye amekutengeneza i am giving you one week to go and apologize i need you to go and apologize to Trevor unajua mbori mwe kukukula uwezi tu igonga na mwiko lazima uiangaliange vizuri kabla bado unaweza rudi kuilamba so i'm giving you one week rudi u apologize kwa Trevor the manner vile uliacha Trevor haikunibamba sana hata kama watu wanasema uko na sponsor au nini hapo nitakutetea si mademu ukipata happiness kwa mtu mwenye ako na pesa na anaweza manage your lifestyle mbona mbona ulie mbona ulie kwa probox na kuna mwenye ako na range rover ama ako na ako na private jet so hapo na am seconding you munga hivi kama ulipata mwenye ako na mado mingi go 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 na usiwai angalia nyuma usiwai kuja kuangalia mkisi after all kisses are also dramatic usiangalie but what i can say that the manner when you liacha nao Trevor naenda amekutengeneza amekupatia hadi unajua kitambo mkianza ulikuwa na vanga booty short ulikuwa una va crop top ulikuwa na foya dingine hapo so at least nywele yako kichwa yako imekuwa round una get so Trevor ndio ametengeneza hizo vitu ulipata pesa ukajua rangi yako unajua kama una pesa uwezi jua rangi yako kama mimi sahii bado siwezi jua kama mimi ni black bro na mama chocolate so Trevor alifanya ukajua rangi yako tafadhali rudi kwa kwa Trevor wa apologize or just make a video uongee useme Trevor this and that i forgive you pia tunaona pale ulikuwa unapiga Trevor na mwiko but hapo pia siwezi sema eti munga hivi alikuwa mbaya hata michali yangu nimewahi mpiga juu machalisa zingine they can really stress you machali men can really surprise you so i can say kama ulipiga Trevor na ulipiga Trevor na mwiko ulikuwa unafaa hata kumwekelea na kisu kidogo kando ya masikio so like i can say the only thing umefanya vibaya urudi umwombe forgiveness vile ulimwacha au kutoka na manners mm. We, na hiyo place ya kumpiga watu waliruliza maswali sana. Wengine walikuwa wanasema that oh, a, a general review ilikuwa inasema Trevor is the most dramatic person in that particular relationship. Mm. Wengine kiasi tu wanasema if uh, pia alikuwa dramatic mm. but most of the percentage ilikuwa kwa Trevor. Mm. Maybe kwa upande wako uh, uliona kivipi? All I can say that uh, sisi madem kuna ile time yenye sisi madem tunaweza kuanga na moods but i'm going to second eve kama ni ukweli alipiga Trevor na mwiko ju wana mme mnapendanga ku cheat and then walikuwa nangangania charge Trevor alikuwa anataka charge simu yake afanyie nini usiku alikuwa anataka ku charge simu yake afanyie nini so kama eve alikupiga na mwiko mimi am seconding hapo naye na second eve ungempiga hadi na kisu ungemkata kidogo na kisu because these men are sometimes they always stupid yes Why is it that sisi wanawake tukipiga wanamme mnaonanga tumefanya kitu mbaya na sasa zenye wanamme wanatupiganga mnasemanga it's normal No but wanaume mm. wanaume uh, mimi nikiamua kupiga sasa hata coffee mm. mimi nitaenda ndani nitapigwa mm-hmm. vibaya sana yes. but wewe ukinipiga ni normal Yes it is normal because mimi siwezi kukuua wewe unaweza niua so it's normal ha, Wacheni sisi pia madem tuwapige so what is wrong na munga hivi kupiga kupiga Trevor hata kumguza vizuri alipasuka tu hapa what is wrong with that si ange mdunga kisu basi hata hapa kidogo na simuwe what is wrong with that uh, hmm? it is just the same as yule boy mwenye aliachwanga na mtoi wewe ni baba mtoto kama demo wako amekuepa na mtoi tunza mtoto wewe pia ni baba mtoto nyi pia mnatuachanga tukiwa hadi na mimba what is wrong about that So all I can say the only thing Munga Eve alifanya ni kutoka pale na madharau do a video omba Trevor forgiveness na uanze kuambia watu waende pia wa support nani Trevor but otherwise vitu zingine mimi sioni kama kuna shida hapo Mimi hmm? I'm not seeing anything kama Eve amefanya but the only thing I need to tell Eve mtu mwenye amekufanya kinembe ika squat usiwai dharau hiyo mtu go back apologize na usikuwe na madharau najua vizuri na kuanga na some ego but this is the time you really have to lower your ego you first of all you two people I'm to make it you Trevor you made Eve. Eve pia kuna venye ulijaribu kusaidia Tre, kusaidia Trevor. You people can only work mkikuwa pamoja. And that's all I can say. Yes. Okay, uh, kuna tetesi zinasema there is this one person mwenye uh, alifanya Eve waka break up. Mm-hmm. Mwenye amekuwa behind Eve like amekuwa akimsupport nini nini. Uh, maybe umesikia rumors kama hizo. Eh hizo nimesikia lakini siwezi mtaja jina. Nasikia alikuwa ngana sponsor fulani ndio alikuwa ameanza ku treat treat Munga Eve akajua rangi yake, akaadi siku hizi amekosa kuwa na forehead, akaacha kuvaa booty short, akaanza ku akaanza hadi ku akaacha kuvaa hadi mami jeans. But it's normal. Hmm? Kwa Biblia imesemekana mwanamke anaweza olewa tena mzee wa 70 years ama 100 years. But kwa Biblia kuna penye inasema eti mwanamme mwenye ako 20 years anaweza oleka na mwanamke mwenye ako 
above yeye na age so it's normal hmm? pengine Trevor pia alikuwa analalisha class you Trevor pia inasemekana alikuwa na cheat what if kama alikuwa na cheat na atoshelezi mwenzake kwa kitanda what can we say atujui it's a goal goal it's a goal goal watu wanasema Trevor pia alikuwa na cheat wengine pia wanasema mungaive lifestyle yake ni kuna somebody somebody mwenye pia ko rich so what if ilikuwa inafanyika hivyo Hmm? Atujui. Hey, atujui but all i can say kama munga hivi alikuwa na sponsor mwenye amefanya hii marriage yao imenini people do break up but vile tu munga hivi aliacha Trevor hiyo ndo ni mbaya alimwacha na madhara but man it's right time muache kutupigia kelele mna tuachanga sisi pia vibaya mkiendaga madem wenye wako na pesa mnasema ngi sasa hivi mnatuacha juisi ni malaya mnaendea wenye wako na matako sasa hivi mnatuacha hii mnasema huu ni malaya mnaendea mwenye wako chache so what is wrong about that kama hivi alipata mwenye wako na pesa shida ya wanaume ni wapi tafuta pesa wanaume tafuteni pesa do you think uh, tunaelewa that these people wametoa na mbali do you think wanafaa kukaa chini wa solve mambo yao ama kila mtu waende tu kivi yake kurudiana nayo wasirudiane hapo nao wasirudiane waende kivyao lakini wa have a healthy relationship yenye wanaweza fanya nayo nini yenye wanaweza fanya uh, a healthy relationship yenye wanaweza fanya nayo kazi vizuri yes but wasirudiane mwanamume atafute pesa ajenge kwake mwanamke kipata mwanamume mwenye ako na pesa aendelee mm. kuna kuna rafiki yake anataka kuongea huku <laughs> najua nataka kunipinga kidogo lakini hebu mlete tumenyane na yeye <laughs> yes mimi kwa majina ni Tolbaga Nywele Sauce yes wanajua kama Tolbaga Nywele Sauce yes we unafanya nini bro mimi mimi nafanya tu job hapa na pale biashara kidogo kidogo lakini mambo ya ndoa hii hapo nimejua kabisa mimi ndio chairman ya senior bachelors Kenya ndio <laughs> chairman yes uko bachelor mimi niko ni owe sahi ah. my friends kuizi ya kunanga kuowa ah. siku hizi ni come we stay come we stay inaweza kuwa come we stay mare jami inaweza kuwa come we stay na muachanie kwa katikati ya barabara ah. yes ah. Wende, ijalu mini mjalu original typical eh. yes ebu <laughs> tuambia who is this to you mm, who ni best wangu a best friend of mine although si sister yangu kwa hivyo any can any can happen any can happen yes <laughs> <laughs> Ewe <laughs> tuambie maoni yako kwa hii relationship ni gani? Ya huyu Trevor na nani? Mungaive. My friend Trevor na Mungaive. Trevor usinisiwai kuona kwa media tena. Mm. Ukilia ati uliwachwa. Mm. Umejua wanaume wenye hawana pesa ndio wanalianga tu wamewachwa. My friend, wewe sahi kitu yenye nakuuma ni venye ulikuwa unalea unalesha huo mtichana venye ulikuwa maybe unambaia pocket unampea pocket money na venye ulikuwa unambaia nini? Credit. My friend hapa Kenya kuna wanaume wenye wamebaiya wasichana manyumba wamenunua magari V8 na wamewachwa My friend nataka kuambia wewe Trevor mwanamke aliumbwa na roho ya kuacha watu kama amewacha mama yake mzazi mwenye amemzaa akawacha baba yake amewacha ndugu yake amewacha sister yake akawacha kitanda yake amekuja kwenu anaita mama yako mama anaita baba yako baba we ni nani uwezi wachwa na mpatwa na meno 32 Unasikia? Kwa hivyo wewe ukiwachwa wachika my friend. Na ukiwachwa umepewa time mzuri ya kutafuta mtu mzuri kuliko huyo mwenye amekuacha. Wasana warembo tunaambiwa wajazaliwa my friend. Mimi unataka niowe leo ndio msana mrembo azaliwe tena nianze kutamani nikiwa kwa ndoa. Wewe kama utreva ali, nani alikuacha? Uh, Mwingai alikuacha. Wewe tafuta bibi mwingine mrembo kumliko. Ndiye aonange kama uko na bibi mrembo kumliko. Hii mambo ya kulialia kwa media atoliwacha uliwachwa. Mimi baba yangu aliniambia mama mwenye alinizaa alikuwa bibi yako wa ine. Na alituzaa na akatengeneza maisha yake na akatengeneza familia yake. Wewe umewachwa na wakwanza umelia kwa media, umelia siju wachu. Bibi alizaliwa na kuwacha watu. Na wao wanawake hata umchinjie ngombe, wangu wa nyumba wao yakikula polepole ile siku yake ya kwenda imefika atakuacha ama umpige na kitu yenye meunganishwa my friend akiamua kuenda ataenda kwa hivyo wewe acha kushinda shinda ukilia ati wewe wacha kwani wewe ndio wa kwanza kuachwa kama uhuru kenyata ndio president wewe naliwachwa wewe ni nani uweze wachwa na una pesa uhuru kenyata nusu ya Kenya ni yao ya kenyata family na aliwachwa wewe ni nani uweze wachwa Wajalia ajalia kwa mtandao ameachwa. My friend, watu wenye wanaongea hapa nje, mara oh, nani amewachwa, nani amewachwa, nani amewachana, ati alipiga bibi. My friend, kama unapigwa na bibi mkono hapa. Hapa chini utampiga. Ile hii kazi ya wanaume utampiga. 
kama nakupiga hapa hiyo imetuonyesha huyu mwanamke hakuwa na pakita haki yake ndio kwa maana ameenda mimi kwanza namshukuru na, na sana huyu mwanamke aende kabisa kama unaweza piga bwana yako mkono atoroke na atoke na den aenda hustaki hapa chini unaweza mpiga huyo mtana hakuwa anapata haki yake kwa hivyo kama ameenda well and good mimi namtakia apatane na mtu kama mimi eh wewe unaua my friend hapa chini my friend nitagonga hadi sura ikikunje naweza gonga ili umejua mtu ana mwenye akona pesa hivi ni mzuri kugonga sana juu unagonga ukisikia analia unangoa unamwambia ongeza pesa ama niwachii kazi kwa njia yes hiyo ndio kazi ya wanaume hii ni kitu mimi najiamini bila njugu wacha waloya waloya umejua anajiamini mtu amepea dem date anakula nini mgombera akule njugu mimi najiamini bila njugu my friend dem kama huyu mwenye amewacha bwana huyu akuje kwangu nitagonga mpaka hiyo sura hiyo kitu ipinduke iangalie nyuma hiyo ndio dawa my friend huyu mimi sijaoa sister yangu juu kuna vitu siwezi fanya na sister yangu nimeoa huyu bibi yako ni adui yako kwa nyuma gonga mpaka kikuona umetoka job anajificha kidogo anachukua kafa bibi si rafiki yako bibi ni mtu mpata akiwa na meno 32 Ye yeah, anajua na bibi atanamuita babe at darling. Wachezaji alikuwa mkisi, wakisi wanajulikana kwa kazi. My friend, my friend, wacha nikuambie, wakisi kazi yao ni kuchonga miwa. Unasikia? Mkisi ajui hiyo kazi. Mkisi wote ni watchman. Watchman baridi imempiga mpaka hiyo kitu imekoka kama mawi. Atawezana hiyo kazi yake. My friend. <laughs> Nikuulize. Yes. Ah uh, ungependa because kwa relationship hata wewe ukioa saa hii lazima mkosane na 1 2 3. Yes. Do you think wanafaa kuja pamoja wa solve mambo yao warudi pamoja? Mimi kitu nimesoma kwa hiyo ndoa. Mwanaume hakuwa anatekeleza majukumu ya Bwana. Kwa sababu mimi vinaamini kama tolbaga nywele sauce. Bibi kama anakushinda mkono ina maisha hapa chini kwa kitanda mwezi. Na kuambi ukweli. Mwanamke ni mtu ambaye ukiwa naye kwa kitanda alie. Mkianza war physical war alie. Sasa yote ni kulia kwa sababu hiyo ni property yangu. Mimi nachukua ngombe nipeleke kina bibi. Mimi mwenyewe nichukue shamba zangu nionyeshe bibi ikue yake. Nyumba yangu yenye nilijenga na pesa yako aite yake. Unasikia? Tena nipige ngumi. My friend, bibi anafaa kulia kwa kitanda, alie huku nje pia. Physical law ikitoka alie. Kwa kitanda alie. Si ati anipige physical law. Hiyo ina maana hata ile kazi nyingine amenishinda. So warudiane ama wasirudi. Wasirudiane, hakuna kitu kitaendelea hapo. Rudiane. Mkisi baridi imepiga imekaa kama mawi. Hakuje mjaluo. Mtu romantic, yes. Nimpeleke maji chumvi tukulane kwa maji. Yes. Take. Okay, anyway, so, um, tukimalizia eh. Niki tu tutamaliza hivi. Trevor anikujie, Mungaive aende. Tolbaga ni. You are very wise. Hii maneno tumemaliza. Yes. Wewe hmm? ulisema utampea vizuri. Mimi nitapatia Trevor vizuri na aweza beba kuni kwa kichwa na aweza beba maji kwa kichwa. I can give like, bath like a rat. I can cook kuliko suo wino. Yaani wao mkisi nitampanga. Kwanza mimi ni mjaluo kutoka Umabei. Trevor kuja na ile gari yako, kuja na Crown ama ni Audi ndio wanasema uko nayo kuja nitakupanga. Na na watu wasikudanganye tu unaruka mkoje unakanyaga mafi. Hapana, I'm the best. Mm. Tukimalizia una maoni. Mimi naye huyo mwanamke mwenye alipiga huyo Trevor. Mwingai kuja. Kuja kwangu. Mimi nimekukaribisha. Nyumba yangu iko empty. Hakuna mtu. Ni chwara nini? Panya tu peke yake natembelea kwa nyumba. Sasa hivi yenye niko hapa niko na kifungo yangu natembelea nayo. Wewe kuja ni kuingize single room. Hiyo single room utakuwa na lala kama unaota Mungu. Kwa sababu ile kitu ulikuwa unataka hapo utakuwa unapata. Kuliko kuishi kwa nyumba ya gorofa na kila usiku uki, ukilala unaona mapanya panya zinakimbia kwa nyumba. My friend, mimi ni mwanaume na nusu. Kuja kwangu kwa single room. Hiyo single room utaredheka. Utakuwa na imba asubuhi ukiamka ametenda maajabu na siwezi kueleza. Kila asubuhi my friend. Na ukisikia mwanamke asubuhi anaamka anaanza kuimba, "Ombe adui yako, ai sisi kwa mlango my friend." My friend kazi yako luere, hiyo imekushinda. Kuja kwangu. Kuja kwangu, uimbe wimbo ya maana. Yes. Tutakupata wapi kwa mtandao? Kwa mtandao mimi napatikana Jakaranda Ground ukitaka kunipata mimi ni Tolbaga Nywele Sauce TikTok follow me kwa TikTok Tolbaga Nywele Sauce yes. na wewe And of course Madam Petty Mouth kila mahali Thank you so much guys tumekuwa tukipiga story endo niangalia pale nyuma tumekuwa tukipiga story na 
Madam Petty Mouth KE na tumemaliza story. Maoni yako ni gani kama uh, one of the followers wetu na one of the followers wa kina Trevor na Mungai if what are your views about this relationship? Should they should they solve their issues and get back together or they should just split for once and for all? Thank you so much. Till next time. Bye bye.